Well, you're asking me about the green economy and uh, <laughs> the premise behind it, which is you have to pay people in order to have them conserve forests and rangelands and wetlands and all these natural uh, ecosystems. And, uh, uh, you know, like, as you know, the green economy is a misnomer. It's, uh, it's a code word for green capitalism. And these basic premises and these market mechanisms are total humbug. They're total nonsense. Why? The earth, nature, and uh, all of its processes, all these ecosystems in their prist pristine or near pristine beauty and functionality, who has conserved them until our times? It's not governments. It's not uh, the World Bank or anybody else paying for ecosystem services. It's not capitalism. It's not the market mechanisms. It is local communities. It is traditional communities. It's especially indigenous peoples who have conserved them because it's a part of their, not only culture, but it's a part of their very uh, existence. It's, uh, I would almost say it's a it's a uh, instinct with indigenous peoples and traditional communities to conserve nature as one of our great uh, uh, nomadic uh, chiefs said at the World Parks Congress he said uh, addressing these 4,000 people sitting there he said you're all professional conservationists you are paid to conserve nature but I as a nomad it's my life it's my way of living, to cons it's my duty to conserve nature. It's my second nature to conserve nature. Because if one day I don't conserve nature, the next day won't give me anything to eat. So we are the original stewards of nature. What are you talking about? What are these people talking about? That you need to pay people to conserve it? That is a, a re recipe for disaster. It is the ultimate of lack of understanding of what traditional communities and indigenous peoples are all about. The territories of indigenous peoples, the areas and territories of traditional communities, they are nothing but conserved areas and conserved territories on which you can do sustainable livelihoods. And if it wasn't like that, there wouldn't be anything today after thousands and hundreds of thousands of years of community conservation for us to talk about conserving.